So for our next game here, we have set two of uh, Confed's Darwin versus Team Composites Blizz Freak. Um, TVT. That's co -casting with my me. favorite. Yeah, TVZ. Yeah, co-casting yeah. with me today is Voper and Hozu is doing the camera work. You want to do the introductions? Howdy, guys. Sure. Down at the bottom right, we have Composites Blizz, Blizz Freak. Blizz Freak. Maybe he's a Blizzard Freak. There's all the Blizzard games. And at the top left, we have the blue Zerg. We have Confeds Darwin. Boom. I would like to point out that you can't have other people do camera work while you're obscene replay. Rip. So, some trash talk going down. Before the game, that one, a little banter. Yeah, it's good to always talk to your opponent. I like to. I like to always set this, make the set in like peaceful. Yeah. So both players playing pretty standard so far, no early pools. Looks like we're gonna have a 12 Rex come out for the turn. Probably a Reaper bow. Does he rally to the gas? He does. Boom, 12x, 12 gas reap. And Probably up the gonna top. see 15 hatch maybe. And then into a 15 pull to get ready for that reaper. That one's late on the drone pull. Too much typing. Yeah. That's the thing about typing during tournaments. I actually don't do it during tournaments, but during normal games on the ladder, I don't mind talking, but. During tournaments, I wouldn't talk this much. Fun. Probably friends. The only problem with that sometimes, like, uh, if your pool is, like, 15 seconds late because of how you timed everything out, that you could take a lot of damage from Reapers on a small two-player map. Yeah. Oh. The guy actually just talked to me on ladder, and I uh, got distracted. And forgot my build. But you're gonna rush him or something. Nice to have the oh, no, man. Not official gaming blanket, just a comfy one I like to <laughs> He games with the blanket. Nice. Well he he does <coughs> If I remember right, he does frequently play mech, so the ability to play with the blanket um is possible <laughs> with mech. I'd feel trapped in the blanket. Well, so Darwin goes commando. Um, you can really learn a lot about somebody when you hear they go commando. So, uh, that reactor coming down, is that going to be for... No, no factory. For... You just go in the reactor before the factory because he's doing the one reaper expand. Just the way the gas times out. Should we get having a factory now? Um, scouting around at the Reaper, he didn't scout anywhere early game with the SCV, so he didn't know exactly where he was. So it did take him quite a while to get here. Back at home, looks like the Terran's gonna be going 3 CC as well, since he doesn't have the second gas yet. That one's getting his gas going. Injax does have an overlord behind the natural. This other overlord is going to take forever to get to. Yeah. Yep, and it looks like Darwin here just droning up. I wonder. Oh, he's going for a layer. A layer before speed. And a roach warren. Shenaniganry is probably incoming for Bliss Freak here. Back at home, Bliss Freak added a second gas, a bunker, full mo third CC. Starport. Think Widow Mine drop? Um, Banshees with the tech lab there. One double guess who are gonna open up Hellion Banshee. Pretty old school. Back to home, Darwin is adding the lair, Roach Warren. Gas is a little bit late. Doing what I think he's. He's not going for any upgrades. 
behind you. So he's probably investing a lot in the economy right now. Yeah. Now he's going double gas back at home. Terran's going, got his banshees going. Gonna start cloak. Aliens out. User joined your channel. User left your channel. There's the first banshee. Um, all right, four hellions. Gonna be looking at pressure on the really rest. So, still no third base at 7:30 for the Zerg player, so he's definitely gonna be all in. Um, yeah, the Terran should be very confused right now. So you're not spending this early. Okay, he's so checking with the hellion. Still sees no third. Here comes the cloak. This freak. So uh, Terran sees that there's just a roach line, one gap. If I saw this, I think Ooh. one run roach is coming. But even though it's kind of late yeah. for one run roach, but oh, and the knight is going down in the main base. For, uh, right, so we're gonna look at some knightus play. Two base rich queen knightus. That's a very annoying oh, yeah. build to deal with as Terran. And back at oh, home, yeah. the Terran player didn't go third CC. And, and he, he went uh, triple factory two base. That's Those interesting. They're gonna die to Queen Roach. And with that spine, there's no way he's gonna get into that. Blocked off from this two base all in. And yeah, Zerg doesn't even need map control for this, really. He just needs to get into their base. Go outside their base, anywhere. And Nice will give him full access. Yeah, and he's hunting for a place to put it with this overlord. Oh, he sees the... Okay, it's going down in the natural. Here's <laughs> wow, the Hellions. Ballsy. They're gonna just kill that really quickly. Yeah. He pushed F2! Oh no, he pushed F2 to go to the Nidus. Now he has nothing in his main. One Marine going back. Oh, nice. Oh no. Yeah, Dream. those Scout of Marines. Oh no, now he's respawning, it's too late, the roaches are out. Now he's got a huge pain on the ass. Oh. Darwin making this work. Dang, now this is nice to see. Got the overseer coming in right now. Got a bunch of people that are heading to the right now. So yeah, he's losing quite a bit of units. He should have had that overseer with him earlier. Yeah. Now it's out. Oh, so many queens. Oh man, so much damage coming down. Darwin doing a cheeky build here and applying quite a bit of pressure. The turn player doesn't have a third base or any way to do anything. He's basically mining one base right now and all this production is under attack. This is a really tough position to be in as Terran. And he's got his rookies rally down. Well, he shouldn't defend those two Nidus, but he's gonna break down the front, break down the main, distract it on both sides, so. Oh, and the transfuse keeping the queens alive. He does have one more transfuse. losing all the queens, but he's got more roaches coming in the natural. Oh man, Darwin. He's already up 50 supply. This is brutal. This is... Back at home, he's not even on that many workers, but... How much damage he's doing right now, I don't... I really don't think Blitzfreak's gonna be able to recover from this. I want to be him Nidus going down right inside the natural. <laughs> oh, wow. This is, like, as Terran, like, this is so frustrating when you're playing against this, because all you have to do is keep the Ninus from going up, but if the Ninus goes up, like, it's so hard to defend units from that position. And, and Blitzfreak's got to be so mad, because he F2'd to go attack that Ninus, and he only needed, like, the Hellions. And if he would have left the Marines there, he would have been fine. That's... That's going to be rough. He's going to be kicking himself after this. 
sure. And another knight is going down in the main. There's creep in the main. A bunch of changelings. <laughs> and those... Darwin. Brutality. Oh man, back at home he's taking the third base. Um, he got he's got burrow started. Still harassing. Nice. Burrow. Units lost tab. The Terrans lost almost 6,000 resources to 3,500 for Darwin. And he's only on 32 supply, one base. He's got fucking like, like 9 SCVs. Yeah, and there's no way that if, when he goes burrow that Terran can down. Unless he drops on like, this orbital play. Yeah, this is definitely Darwin's game to lose now here. He's got two more scans. Pretty neat little build for Darwin. I'm gonna just... Yeah, his economy wasn't even touched. I mean, Pop the mech player in his tracks. Mech is really weak when it's low in numbers, and he just hit him in a spot where he really only had a couple of Hellions and some Banshees to deal with that much. Not enough to stop all those Witches and Queens. Yeah, he did, he couldn't spare any of his mech units to go. So, so heavy in supply and <laughs> he's retreating with the roaches, that. and the Nidus just goes down back here. <laughs> and out comes more roaches. <laughs> Banshees are in the way out in the middle of the map, and they're gonna get cut off by fucking queens. <laughs> oh man, Darwin. Having uh, Blitz Freak go on our little roly poly always. Darwin's so cheeky. Oh, right. It's still work and uh, bending off of it, so his economy is great. It's not even being touched. Yeah, and the Terran's like on one base with still only like 15 workers, not even 15. 6 plus 7 is 13, so yeah, that's uh, not good. Tanks are super powerful, but. Not when you only have like two. <laughs> yeah. And he yeah, just moved commands, motion. those tanks. Making some changelings, scouting around. Darwin's probably like, why are you still in this game? You know what I mean? Like this? Yeah. I would never get out. Well, no uh, planet. And Blizzard could win this game. He'd have to move command like four sets of larva into his army for him before it became even. Yeah, he'd have to do something to the economy too, because he could just sacrifice all of these units in and it still wouldn't be any problem. He's making he's roaches, hydras, 1-1's one, almost done. Um, he's just containing right now. Make a mass economy. And... Basically, he has full control. The 1-1 one, one for this freak is done. He got 1-1, one, one, but he's only got like 4 mech units. So, 1-1 one, one is basically useless. Yeah, that one's just keep running into him. I missed target fire with the hydras there. He doesn't want to have any tanks, you're just killing all the tanks off. Yeah. Like, you're never gonna feel safe. I will haunt you every time for the rest of this game. It'd be funny to see another Nidus go down in the main while all this is happening. He puts him back in that Nidus, just goes out the other one. Yeah. Gonna force a lift off here. Oh, nice. Yeah, still can't even mine out his natural. Twenty minutes into the game, this is just a really rough spot for Ghost Freak. Taking a lot of damage. Kind of nervous that Hosu is watching this replay because he's the type of Zerg that would have Utilize no problem doing you. these kind of builds. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna start putting depots in my main. Um, Versus and you the guys and... Marines and yeah. Don't leave them. <laughs> you shall not knight us. Back at home, he's all the way up to yeah. four base, and the other the ten player can't even get two base saturated going. So this is going it's from actually, bad to worse. Yeah, it's actually a great idea though from Darwin. I think I'm gonna actually do this. Working out pretty well. Yeah, Tan usually goes mech early game and then they switch into bio and catch them and make them dedicate their build in a mech. This could work really well. Oh, 
decided not to take that engagement. He doesn't need to take a bad engagement right here. He's got a ton yeah. of supply. He can just fall back. Four bases. Viking gonna go right into a spore there. Yeah, Blizzfreak is gotta be on tilt right now after that opening. He's just trying to do his best to see if he can come back and maybe make something happen, have some miracle engagements, but. I'm surprised Terran is... is still in this game. That just shows the sustain that Terran Race has. It really hold off a lot of the Zerg army. The Zerg army units are so fragile early on, so if you could get a unit like Tank or Widowmine, or a fire bat against the wings, you can yeah, but damage. Honestly, at this point, Darwin's basically trolling them. Yeah, of course. You can get us around with all these units. and He's 5 base versus a barely 2 base saturated Terran. At and 21 he's got minutes. This is pretty much sent his mutas in and it's game over. Yeah, it's 80 supply. The Terran's pushing out 21 minutes in the game and the Zerg's been on 3 base for like fucking 8 minutes. Like, I don't. This is just gonna get slapped and be a game losing blow. Like, the only way Blizzard could win this game is if he slowly spread out with siege tanks and, and planet terrors everywhere and mass ravens and just took perfect engagement after perfect engagement and got to some like unbeatable air army. Because Terran can just like, but trying to push out with the army right now, they're losing everything. He's just handing down in the wind. Look, he's got one Raven for anti air. Speaker missile's gonna go off. Oh my god. Oh. oh. So a Raven and a Widow Mine almost take out all of the mutas here. Yeah, but this is just too much. Darwin. Just steamrolling all over this Terran player. That's going to be GG for sure. Let's see, yeah, what is Buzz Freak looking at right now? What is Buzz Freak looking at? He's looking at his base. Alright. I'm going to move my barracks over here. I got a Thor. Oh fuck, the Thor is stuck because I blocked it with an eBay. Oh shit, he's coming. Alright, well. He's got missile turrets, but he doesn't even need mutas anymore. But it just get there quick. I would continue to cast this game, but I don't know why Blizzard sent it, so we're just gonna look at his camera to understand. Yeah. Well, as a third fighting Terran, I would never give up if I was Terran because they're Terran units very good. And that like a engagement right now, just destroyed all the like, melt them all or just two units. Well, they were attacking in the splash damage in the choke. Yeah. And then mistakes like that. A lot of the time, you just land it and win. Come back. Yeah. Blood Streak. Just, uh. Slowly dying here. We're waiting for him to tap out. He's refusing yeah. for now, but it's inevitable. Uh, And right, that these tank signified it was over. Oh. And uh, that's it. Good game from Darwin there. Really just completely working him. Yeah, that wasn't even close. Darwin. I love that build, and I think I'm going to try that against Terran.